Hey, and welcome back to another H01 Food Reviews. And today, we're trying Burger King's new XL Burger. Let's see how it is. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hi, welcome to Burger King. How can I help you? Hi, yes. Can I get your um, Big King XL Burger meal? Small, medium, or large? Uh, medium. Can I get like a Diet Sprite? Okay, anything else? That'll be all. $9.92. There you go. Thank you so much. We got the food. Let's park and let's try it out. All right, so welcome back to another H1 Food Reviews. And like I said, today we're trying Burger King's new Big King XL Burger. Big King XL. I had to double check the name. It's like big times two, I don't know. So this burger is supposed to be like the McDonald's Mc... What is that? Big Mac. Let's see how it compares. We got our fries. Oh, and they're and I'm dropping fries. Let's check out their fries. Good. Good, not very hot. Minus one. They're more like warm. And here's the burger. Um, it's definitely a big burger. I can already tell by how heavy it feels. There's so there's gonna be two patties in the burger, pickles, onions, lettuce, and Burger King's own sauce. To all these patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed. Which I guess is supposed to be like McDonald's sauce. All right, but opening up the burger, this is kind of what we get. So there's, like I said, there's two patties, cheese, pickles, and onions and lettuce, and then their own special little sauce. All right, so like I said, I'm curious to see how much of this tastes like a Big Mac. I do like Big Macs. Who doesn't? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of onions. Usually I get no onions on my food. I know it, like I don't like crunchy onions. I'll do onion rings, sauteed onions. I just don't like that pure onion flavor. But for the review, I'm going to try it because there's not too many condiments on this burger. Like I said, it's just lettuce, pickles, onions, special sauce, and the meat patties. So... Without further ado, let's give it a bite. This is good. All right, so far, I'm liking this burger a lot. Um, the secret sauce, I'm not really sure. Let me, let me just try just the sauce. So here's just the sauce. So here's kind of what I'm getting from this burger. You get the flame broiled uh, meat patties, which Burger King obviously specializes in, which are phenomenal. I'm a big fan of those uh, type of patties from Burger King. There is some cheese on there. The pickles go really well with the whole sandwich. Uh, they do give it kind of a crunch, break up some of the flavor. The onions are pretty good. And like I said, normally I don't like onions. They're pretty good in here. I'll be honest, when I'm done with the review, I'll probably pick them out and eat this without the onions. I'm just not that big of a fan of like crunchy styled onions. Now the sauce is good. It's kind of sweet and it tastes a lot like the... Uh, Big Mac sauce from McDonald's and you know, this is what they're who they're going after obviously it looks like a Big Mac It's got the two meat patties The only thing it's really missing is that second bun or the third bun in the middle of the sandwich But I do like this burger more and let me explain why uh, To me this burger is bigger and the meat patties seem thicker, right? So the McDonald's meat patties are really thin These are these are a bit thicker Burger King always has had like thicker patties but I would say this burger overall is just larger. Here's a, like a cross section of the burger just so you get an idea. So for me, I feel like you're getting more for your money. So I got the medium size and it was a good amount of money considering it's a lunchtime menu option. You know what I mean? A lot of people will usually go to fast food restaurants for something quick, easy, and cheap. And this was quick, this was easy, it was not cheap. At least not for me. I don't like spending, you know, close to $10 when I go to a fast food restaurant. I'm typically more like the should be around five dollar range, but overall, I would definitely recommend this burger. I would definitely recommend you go out and try this burger. If you're a fan of the, you know, Big Mac, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you try this and how you would compare it to a Big Mac. This is the first new menu item of 2019, guys. Burger King came out with a new menu item, at least that I've seen in my area, and I'm a big fan. I'm usually a big fan of a lot of the stuff Burger King does. Um. If I would knock this burger, if I would knock this burger on anything, it would definitely be that there's a lot of sauce on there. 
Um, like I said, the sauce is good. I like it. I just don't know if that's going to be for everyone. I know a lot of people kind of condemn Burger King because they always just seem to like smother all of their, you know, new menu items with whatever special sauce they've got on there. I know they can be really heavy on the mayo as well. This burger doesn't have any mayo. It's just a secret sauce, lettuce, onions, pickles on the sesame seed bun. Does that sound familiar? To all the patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. All right, guys. Well, that does it for another H1 Food Reviews. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and like it. And if you guys loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, bye.